I found a book in my bookcase and I haven't seen it for years. I don't actually remember who gave it to me or when I got it. It's called Art of the Western World, Early Christian to Medieval Painting. And it was published in London in 1963. And the person who gave it to me, Max Charlesworth, got it in London in 1963. So it was a new thing when he got it. And anyway, I thought it would be interesting to look through this interesting book. Because even though it's Western art, what I was seeing in it was so much, well, Eastern art. Let's have a look. Here is a painting in the catacombs. Now, the paintings in the catacombs, of course, occurred while persecution was going on, early days of Christianity. And we can recognise in that art in the catacombs forms and ways of painting, fresco if you like, that we're familiar with in Byzantine art. Fifth century, and it is an icon, it says it's an icon, it's in Rome, but it's very different from what we're used to. Look at how uh, shallow, I suppose the word is, Look how shallow the halo is. And look how high the eyes are. As you can tell, I'm not reading this book to you. I'm making comment on what I'm seeing. I'm letting, if you like, the images speak to us rather than the words in the book. Now here's something that's familiar to uh, quite a few of us. Now this is mosaic and it's R Ravenna. Now uh, Ravenna is in Italy, so it's west. But there is a familiarity of this image that looks like something that we know from Mount Sinai, the St. Catherine's Monastery. Moses uh, taking his sandals off because he's on holy ground. And the burning bush is all around him. The weird thing is, he's not listening to the voice of God from the burning bush, but from a disembodied hand of God up in the clouds. Yeah. More Ravenna. And sometime for the Icon Schools, I'll revisit Ravenna because... Um, I was there some years ago, and uh, uh, I think there's uh, a collection of um, photos that we'll be interested in. But this is just a small sec uh, section. Again, all the Ravenna art is a mosaic. Now, this is called Ascension, 9th century. Uh, Rome, but it looks Eastern. One of the interesting things is that the figure on our left-hand side is dressed as a bishop. I wonder who he is. Is it Peter, the first bishop of Rome? Don't know. The Archangel... Raphael. And this is a form that's fairly familiar to us. Look at the uh, ribbon in the hair, very familiar in so many of the archangel uh, icons. I don't know much about uh, St. Cyprian and Sabinus. But there they are on trial before Maximus. And uh, again, the forms are very Eastern. This is 12th century. 
Oh, isn't this wonderful? It's part of the album apps and it's from Barcelona, so it's Spanish, and apparently, according to what the book tells me, it uh, is influenced by uh, Moorish art. And I can believe that. But look at the hand. More Spanish art. The Visitation. Uh, Mary and Elizabeth. Um, greeting one another. How intimate. Well, this is pretty uh, familiar. It's uh, from uh, San Marco, uh, St. Mark's in Venice. Again, it's mosaic. It's called here Descent into Limbo, which is a very Western uh, idea. Uh, I've heard this image uh, in Russian called uh, the Harrowing of Hell. And very often we have the inscription, the resurrection on it. But it's wonderful. You can see, as is usually the case with this uh, icon, Christ, the risen Christ, grasping Adam by the wrist. But look at what Satan is doing, grabbing Adam by the foot. Episodes in the life of St. John. Not quite sure which episodes these are. Obviously doing a good deal of, of baptising, which is what the Baptist did. In this book, the names of the artists are now being uh, written in the inscription. And so this is a painting of the crucifix. We can tell that it's west because the uh, what Christ is standing on, that bit of cross piece, isn't slanted and very often, particularly in Russian icons, that cross piece slants towards the left. But it's based on, as is usually the case with Eastern uh, uh, depictions of the crucifixion based on John's Gospel because on either side are his mother and the beloved disciple. Well, this is the coronation. It's in uh, Rome, in Santa Maria Maggiore, and it is the coronation of the Virgin. So Christ is crowning his mother as Queen of Heaven. But down the bottom, um, just enlarged it a little bit there, is the Dormition, that is the death of the Virgin. And in that uh, icon, it is very common that Mary is uh, lying on a, <laughs> what looks like a beanbag, uh, dead. But in Christ's arms are the, uh, the, the, the mother in white, uh, newly resurrected. And this is a, a detail from the last judgment uh, of uh, Pietro Cavallani. It's Got the characteristics of an Eastern icon, uh, but the face is looking more Western at this stage. And the Madonna, again starting to look more Western, but the characteristics, the, the style of halos and things like that, very familiar to us uh, who paint Byzantine icons. Christ appearing on the lake. Well, this has been cropped, obviously, because Christ isn't appearing anywhere in this uh, image. Uh, but the uh, 
who the disciples are. Giotto, the renunciation of worldly goods, and it's in the Assisi church. So clearly, this is St. Francis. This looks very Western, and the renunciation of uh, goods looks like uh, clothes as well. Uh, is, are those hands taking clothes off St. Francis? or putting a habit on St. Francis. There is something to ponder. Again, Giotto, and meeting of Gio jo Joachim and Anna. Must look up who they are. Not familiar. But again, this is, this is uh, the, the Virgin and Child. Again, uh, in a posture that uh, is familiar in Eastern iconography. But this is in the Uffizi Gallery in Florence. Again, some familiarity, but usually in Eastern iconography, uh, the child, the infant uh, Christ, looks more like a little adult than a little baby. And here, uh, an Annunciation, uh, and this is also in the Fuzzi Gallery. Uh, saw this a few years ago. Very Western in style, but very familiar in the um, composition. The Archangel Gabriel entering nearly always. I think I've only seen two icons where he comes in stage right, but this is always stage left. Um, Sometimes uh, with a, uh, a frond of greenery and sometimes with a lily. Well, in this image, there's both a vase of lilies and carrying a frond. But in this one, he's kneeling before the Virgin. That is not usual in Eastern iconography. Again, Madonna and Child. So this is moving on in time and looking uh, more Western. Uh, this is an allegory of good government. And if you look up above the, the image is the word Pax, which of course is Latin for peace. So peace is good government. But look at the characters underneath. They're wandering past, giving scant uh, attention to good governance, let alone peace. Here's Jehoiakim again. Must work out who he is. And the book ends. And it's time I left. <laughs>